I heard about Dino pretty soon after he came and he was having consistent issues with not being able to keep his food down. When you hear a dog has regurgitated seven, eight times in a day, I really start to worry. So we ended up taking some x-rays to rule out underlying medical conditions, which is how we found out that he does have mega esophagus. It will not help push the food down and will not help keep it down. This is his esophagus. You almost never see it on an x-ray. It can cause really significant medical issues. First of all, if you're not getting enough food in your body. But the other problem is you can accidentally inhale the food and they get something called aspiration pneumonia. When Dino first came to us, what I definitely remember was his big smile. He was always so happy around people. He did have megasophagus, so we did have to prop him up every feeding. At least about 20 minutes is the minimum just so that everything can digest down. It can get tiring. That's why we're there to help prop him up and that way we got very very close to him he loves his feeding times because he knows that he gets all the attention from all of us upon going to his kennel he's already excited he knows what's gonna happen he knows that we're gonna come to the kitchen he also knows that he's going to be standing up if he's feeling a little picky he knows that we will give him the good food wet food in there would mix with the dry food sometimes he likes to be spoon-fed or I've done little meatballs he likes little meatballs just anything to entice him really we look more more into the megasophagus condition and we did see that they had Bailey chairs available. The chair is essentially a way to help force their body to do what they're naturally struggling to do. Really, we're just using gravity to help us push the food down. As soon as it got here, we were all excited. We built it right away. It had padding, it made him really feel like a prince. <laughs> a lot of them were high priced, but we did manage to get that for his quality of life. He did a really good job and everybody here was very proud of him. We were all proud of just all coming together for him. The day that Dino got adopted, there was this radiance to Dino's face from just lots of love and lots of TLC. It is a fulfilling feeling to see them go home and know that it's a loving family. The most rewarding is those small moments. I just remember so many moments with Dino where you know that the animal is so appreciative of you being there. It's like a whole cycle of you giving love and them giving love back to you. It's really rewarding to be able to diagnose and treat a dog like Dino who was underweight and struggling. With the help of our wonderful donors, we're able to provide care for Dino and send him off to a family who's excited to have him be a part of their forever home. I always say rescue animals are the most appreciative and they know and they recognize love.